the demo of picogram the instagram clone by appscript.com on the left i have a user who's already logged in but i will walk you through the entire experience of the app so let me start by launching the app let's click on sign up i don't want to share my facebook details so let's log in with the phone number so let's put my phone number in here the app will send me a verification code that i need to enter right here so I'll just wait for that to come through. It should just take a couple of seconds. Yep, seven, eight, six, one. Now I'm, my number is now confirmed. Let's add a username. Let's pick a photo. Let's pick a photo from Dubai. And sorry, I need to add my name here. Let's add my name. Let's choose a username. Let's add a password. Yep, that's good to go. The app will then sign me up. I can connect my Facebook to find my Facebook friends. So let's do that. So the app, the app will tell me all my friends on the app were all my Facebook friends are using the app. So let's confirm that. Let's sync my contacts to find who among my contacts are using the app. I see that Changi is right here, but I'm only following her. Let's follow Dinesh. Let's click on next. Now this will be my home feed. This feed is generated from people who I follow. So you can see that it's all these are all the posts from Shangi and Dinesh. Let's check the explore page out. This will this is a smart feed which is based on the people I'm following and what they like. I can click on any one post to see its details. I can also follow, let's say I can I can follow David here. I can follow Stephen. Right? So I can follow people from the explore page. I can also look, I can also search for people on the explore tab. Let's say I want to search for Shangi. I can actually look for a profile search and I can find her details. I can look for tags. Let's say I want to look for Paris. So I see that there are two posts which are using the Paris hashtag. I can also look for posts based on location. So let's look for posts in my office. So you can see that there's one post in my office. So I see it right here. And then we have the shopping tab. This is a new tab that we've added. So you can actually look for products on the app. This is a differentiator from Instagram. Instagram does not have this app, uh, have this feature, but I will walk you through it shortly. So let's, and this is my profile page where I can see my profile details. I can edit my profile. I can add my website. I can modify my profile. I can add a bio about myself. I can add my email address. So let me add that. So my email address is saved. I can put my gender. So I save my. Oh, it needs another URL. So, yep, that's, that should be good. So I can see all my details are updated on my profile. I can also always look for friends in. I can always look for my Facebook friends are using the app. This is this can be done anytime. I can also decide to make my account private. This is the feature from Instagram where people can have private profiles. So anytime anyone follows me, they will I will get a I will get a notification that someone wants to be my friend. So I will show you that feature as well. Shangi will make sure her profile is a private profile. So I can demo that entire feature for you. So let's start by creating a new post. Let's say I want to take a photo of my phone. Let's switch over. I take a photo of my phone. I can apply filters just like Instagram. Let's say I like the uh, say I like the big net. So let's choose that. I can draw something on this. I can draw. So let's post that. Right. Let's write a caption. Let's tag hash Paris hash fun. Let's tag a couple of guys. Let's tag my friends Shangi and let's. Oops, I got a call. So let's get away with that. Let's tag the Dinesh. I can also share this photo on Facebook and Instagram. I can tag my office address and I can share that. So this will be the posting section where the post will be 
you know, updated on the server. So this is the post I just created. You can see the hashtags that I've posted, they appear in blue at the bottom. Uh, I can also see the people I've tagged. I can click on them and open their profile. This is all very similar to what you would see on uh, Instagram. I can edit my post at any time. I can, you know, just say edit and my post would then be edited and I can go back and check for my edited post. So I can see that description has been edited, right? And I can always go and delete my post if I don't like it. I can always share my post as well. Let's now figure out how the business profile works. So this is again a new feature that we have added. We can actually update our profile as a business. So if I, if I update my profile as a business, I will have additional features where I can post my products and services. So let's say my business is AppScript. I add my website URL again here. Uh, mobile app marketplace. I can update my phone number. So let's do that. I have to wait for the confirmation code, which would be sent to me. This will again confirm my number. Yep, there it goes. So it's 7078866. So now my number is confirmed. I can add my email address. So this is the contact information that will be visible to all people who see my profile. So the app is now creating my business profile. And you can see that it's you know, it, the app gives me an alert. So now anyone, when anyone sees my profile and they click on my contact, they will have options to call me, email me, or get directions to where I am. So this is a cool new feature that we added. Now let's go back and post a product. So this is where the business, business login comes in. So let's say I decide to sell my phone. So let's say I want to sell my Nexus phone. And uh, I'm good with this. And Let's say I can, I can then choose my category. I can say this is electronics, a, subcat, a subcategory, it's mobile. I can choose my currency. I can say it's the United States dollar. I can add the price and let's say it's 150 bucks, 150 bucks. I can add a purchase URL. So let's say you can buy this phone from my website. You can also add an affiliate link. That That is the next add-on we're thinking of where you can you know, add your affiliate link on Amazon or any other popular marketplace and you can make some money when people click on your referral link. So let's add a location as well. So now let's put a name for the product. Let's say this is the Nexus Android device. Yep. So let's share that. So once that is shared, I will, I will be able to see the product I just posted. And now if Shivangi starts following me, she will be able to see all my posts as well. So let's see if she decides to follow me. So when I click on shop now on my device here, it will open my website. This is the link that I embedded on the product when I posted it. So here we go. So this opens up our website here. Right. So now you can see that Shangi can see my device as well. Now, if she decides to like my post, let's say she decides to like my post here. I will get an alert that Shangi has liked my post. If Shangi writes a comment, you know, on, on, on her phone, I would get an alert that someone has commented on my post, all like Instagram. Yep. She can even use a hashtag in the post, in the comments. That's another thing that she can do. She can, she can use an hashtag while she's putting a comment. So, yep. so now I can click on the, you know, the no notification to see what's happening. When I go to my activity feed, I can see all the activity that Shangi has done. Shangi has commented on my post, like my post, blah, blah, blah. So when I go in and see the posts, I should see Shangi's posts. I can click on the hashtag and open that. I can always click on the place name on top and see all the see all the posts made, made, you know, posts that have been created for that address. Initially you had seen one, now you see two. So that's how the, uh, you know, the photos are arranged based on the location. Let's now talk about the chat feature. That is a new, that's the Instagram direct chat feature that we've added. 
let's say I want to share, I, I need to share my post with Shangi. So I can share my post, I can look for her, and I can say share, test. So once that is done, she would get an alert on her app. So she goes to the chat page. She would see that I've messaged her and she can see the post I just shared with her. So I can go back to my chat page as well and I can see what I've been sharing. And now she and I can chat in real time. Say, hey, how are you? So as soon as I send that, she gets it. She can send something back as well, right? So now we've added another differentiator that Instagram does not have. We've added the calling feature. So you can actually make audio and video calls from the app. So let's initiate an audio call. So let me call Shaggy. Yep, she gets the notification. And she and I can talk with each other on the phone. So that is another cool feature that we just added. Oops, since we're too close, it's not gonna work. It, it, it's gonna give up. Really loud sound. So let's make a video call. Let's make a video call. So now let me let me try to call her. Yep, that's me, guys. Recording the video. And she and I can actually chat with each other. Yeah, that is that is my office. So let's that's the video call feature. So let's kill this. That is another new feature that we've added on our product, which Instagram does not have. We have the audio and video call added. Pretty much like what you see on WhatsApp. I can always go see my call logs. These are the call logs that I have, that, that I just uh, made on the product. So let me go back to my home feed. If I don't like a post and if I, if I feel that some post is not nice or if I want to report it, we have added the report feature and that will be sent to the admin as a reported post. And uh, I can also now post a, I can also post a photo as a direct message. Let's take the let's take a snap of my cup holder cup holder. So let's a pen holder rather. So let's take that and let's post that. I can send a direct message. Let me send a direct message to Shangi. Direct message test. Once I do that, I can send it to her. So she will now get a message on her device. So if she goes to her chat, she would see the message I just shared with her. So that is the that is the direct message feature. Now let's also show you the video feature. We can actually record short videos on the app. So let's demo that feature as well. So let's choose the video option. Let's flip the camera around. So let's record the video. That is our sweet little meeting room here at work. That is my office. Okay, so let's save that now. That's the video post. Record the video. Oh. Let's call that the hash video test. And let's save that. Let's post it as an individual. I can add my office address. And let's share that. So now when Shangi, Shangi, since Shangi is following me, she would see the video I just posted. So that is the video I just posted on my profile. Which takes a couple of seconds to load. Yep. So she can actually start seeing my video. Yep. So it's moving a little slow, but yep, you guys can see that the video I just recorded is clearly visible, right? So that is the video post feature. Now if I can go back and look for the shopping section, if I look for all the mobile posts, you will be able to see the post I just made. That is how we sort the post based on category and that's the way the shopping bit will work. So I can look for a post and if I like it, I can actually decide to shop it. So that's the shopping feature that we added on the product. We also have a detailed insight section where you can monitor just like Instagram how many clicks you've received and uh, how many people have viewed your posts. That's pretty much, that's the analytics part that we've added. We've also added the option for you to promote your business posts. So you can actually decide which post you would, you would like to promote and so that, you know, you can make more money from the clicks that people always, you know, do on apps like Instagram. So that pretty much wraps up, wraps up the major features of our Instagram clone.
Just to add, we can also see the posts that we created right here on the app. So I can see it over here. These are all the posts that I made. And these are all the posts in which I was tagged. But I don't have a post in which I was tagged. So, but if I had one in which I was tagged, I would be, you know, it would be visible right here. So that's pretty much the quick demo of our Instagram clone. I hope you guys liked it. If you have any queries, feel free to write write to me direct at dreamer at appscript.com. My name is Rahul Sharma. I am the founder of the company. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.